What is up, folks? We are here with our second viewer build request of the week video. Um, unfortunately, it has turned out to be what I feared the most, another Corgi. This one's gonna be a Corgi Pirate. I did, of course, manage to make it a very cute build, and I think you guys are gonna like it as well. Next week, we will definitely not be allowing a Corgi to be an option, but I am looking forward to bringing this very fun build to life with you and showing, and showing you how we do it. So let's dive in and check it out. I do, of course, want to remind you folks that I stream on Twitch four times a week, bringing some LEGO and gaming fun goodness in. That's where we do our viewer build requests. It's where we get our ideas for what are going to be your options for voting on the viewer build request, which again, you guys get to decide every single week. So if you want to have a say in not only what I may be built for the viewer build request, but what becomes my viewer build request of the week, make sure you follow me on all the social medias and of course Twitch, so you guys can check out all the live streams yourselves. Uh, we're going to dive in and actually, I guess we should show you what this is built based off of first. So I'm just going to move over over here point at the picture that's what we had built originally for our viewer build request of the corgi pirate cute little hat little parrot on his back um, as you would expect from a pirate to have and then what we do we have for the new build i'm going to show you right now let's do that up and that is right here so we've got an adorable little corgi he's sitting down this time i thought we'd mix up how he was positioned so he's sitting down he's got a little eye patch a little hat and then we even built a little parrot to go along with him. He can, of course, go on the back. You can see we've got a stud there for that. But I thought it'd be fun for him to have a little stand as well. And they kind of display a little bit nicer that way. So looking pretty good. And we're going to show you how we bring those to life. So we are going to start by just tearing this all down. We're going to speed through it. And then we'll dive on in and explore how we build this. All right, our Corgi is fully disassembled. It is now time to dive in and get this bad boy built. Um, I'm not too sure how many pieces that there are. You'll see that on screen in just a second, but let's get started with bringing them to life. We use some pretty unique pieces um, th all throughout this build um, and a wide variety of techniques. I always like to try and just mix in techniques, even if they're admittedly not quite necessary. I think it's fun to always change things up and do things a little bit differently. So we're gonna start off with one of my favorite newer pieces. This is like a two by two modified plate with two studs on the side. Really, really cool for a wide variety of building. Um, really allows you to get quite quite creative and we actually use this to allow us to have kind of the legs in a seating position so we're going to start off with some one by one plates on top of here we're going to lock those together with some corner plates boom boom and then we're going to go with uh, we of course want to have the adorable little corgi button tail that everybody knows and loves so we use some white pieces there like that making an adorable little rounded tail and butt there. And that's actually what first connects these two different parts together. Boom. We're gonna use a one by four plate to kind of further lock things in together. And then we're gonna start with some of the assembly for up top, which I'm kind of forgetting right now, but I'm pretty sure it's like this. We got these cheese slopes here. Boom and boom. That guy, oh no, that guy goes underneath there, okay. I think I'm remembering this now. There we go, boom, boom. And then we have these two offset plates or jumpers, and that's gonna allow us to basically transition to a little bit of a smaller back. Um, I figure while the Corgi's sitting, you kinda gotta think that his thighs are sitting out, so he's a little bit wider at the back than he would be at the front, as dogs often are with their legs kinda splaying out towards the side. And that's actually what we're gonna build next, his little tiny little legs. Just some one by one plates and a one by one tile, nothing crazy here. And that's gonna go on that side there making some nice little shaping. And I think the white underneath, I mean, it probably might look better as tan, but I don't know if this part exists to tan admittedly. I only have them handy in white. So, uh, but it does kind of work for the, the butt of the Corgi once again, which seems to always be white instead of tan. So whatever, for whatever reason that seems to be the case. We're gonna do his other leg here, boom. And then the next set of steps are actually kind of building up his tummy and some stuff that allows us to kind of cover around that area. So we've got some uh, modified one by two slopes with cutout. Those are gonna go right in the middle there and fill in that space and kind of building up a little bit of a slope as if his tummy's kind of coming off the ground or his transitioning from his you know lower torso area, I guess. We've got a tile here and you'll notice I made this exactly five wide and that's so that we can put some pieces directly in front of it going downwards. And then we're actually using some one by two tiles to cover up the sides here to kind of better transition to the body, which we're gonna start to work on next. 
Um, so let's see what else we need here. Or actually, you know what? We're gonna start with something a little bit different. We're actually gonna do his legs at the front first. So we have those ready to go for us to connect to the main front of his body. We're gonna get to do a little sub assembly first and then get the rest of his body going. I'm just kind of going backwards based on the way that I took it apart, which is gonna make it a little bit easier for me to remember. We've got some modified bricks here, which of course allow us to connect different pieces in a bunch of different directions. So that's gonna allow us to have his little chest fur, which he also has on the side. Looking good, looking good. And then we're gonna put some one by two plates underneath one or the little stacks of plates that we made for his legs. And then you can imagine now that's gonna rest right against that. And the height difference there is exactly one plate, which is what we're gonna be building next. So let me just see, I think it was, yes, this is exactly how we had it. And then we're doing this to connect the two parts together, boom. That guy there to fill in a little bit more space, a tile there. And then we're kind of slow walking all this in with some tiles on the back. I've chosen this guy here, again, to have the parrot on top of his back for when we want that. And then we're gonna start doing up the details of the head. So of course the surface where his head's gonna be attached. Got some more snap bricks here. Again, guys, this is very similar to our Charizard Corgi. I figured it would be cool if they were kind of built in the same style and all that fun stuff. We're gonna have the same two by three plate for his patch there, a little bit of his face. And for some reason, I don't know why this reminds me of Eevee as is, but definitely gonna become a Corgi as you all seem to be so obsessed and love them. Um, we got a one by three plate under his mouth, for the like bottom of his mouth. Some one by one plates to build out his, you know, his snout a little bit. Some cheese slopes to round that out. And of course his little button nose. And then we've got a cheese slope in the middle to kind of create the front part of his face. We've got an eye here. And then we used one of the newer black round tiles. I love these little pieces. They've been very, very useful for a wide variety of things. But in this case in particular, it ends up looking quite good for an eye patch. So we'll just slip that right over where an eye would normally go. And then we do have his little ears here. And I actually have these facing downwards. Um, once we get the pirate hat on, I kind of like the way that these look because it makes it look like the hat's kind of squishing his ears down rather than his ears kind of fitting into the hat. It looked weird when I didn't have anything there. So don't be afraid to play around with stuff. Try different things. See really, really what works best, right? Cool, cool, cool. Um, let's switch up cameras and give you guys a little bit of a different perspective on what we're doing here. Here we go. We've got all our pieces lined up in front of us as well. Let's just show you a little bit of a different view while I bring this pirate hat together. So we used up some new brackets here. Um, I actually grabbed a one by one black one as well that are coming in quite a few of the new sets. And that actually allows us to add some fun details onto the front, give us a little bit of better shaping for the pirate hat. I tried a bunch of different methods for getting the pirate hat together, but this, is, this ended up being the one that I thought looked best because we can use these little teeth pieces, which when I actually originally used in the original viewer build request, so it's really nice to be able to do that. And then we actually lock it in with a one by three plate behind there. We're using one of the new modified jumpers, well, easily one of my favorite pieces to uh, allow us to build up the hat a little bit. We actually got some detailing in the front with a round one by one tile. And I do want to know, I do believe in the new dot set, which are looking fantastic and excited to pick up. There is actually a skull and crossbone piece that is on a printed or on a round one by one tile printed. Um, and frankly, I think that would look absolutely fantastic here. You could also maybe have some fun with some of the other emojis, but I'm pretty sure there's a skull and crossbows one. So it would look really, really good there for sure. Even just a skull would look good. So we'll put that right in the front in the middle there. I do wish they had made a one by one bracket in the other direction in black, because then we might've been able to do something cool where they connected here. There is gonna be a tiny little space, but you really don't notice it once we do the next few steps, which is to get some one by one plate or a one by one plate and a cheese slope here. And then in order to get the little plume on or the feather on a pirate hat, um, what I'm using is a one by one clip. And we're gonna have that go right on the back here like that. And then we'll put a cheese soap on top of that. And then just take one of these little plumes. I grabbed red because I thought that was a nice color for it, but there are lots of colors out there so you can choose whatever color you like best and get that on there. And then it looks like a nice little pirate hat, don't you think guys? I think it looks pretty good. I played again a lot with the different shaping and this one definitely had the best feel. And it's cool that it again mirrored what we had originally done for the viewer build request. Next up is the parrot and his little stamp. So actually we'll let the corgi hang out right in front of you there. We've got a little dish here. We've got a one by three bar. Those go into each other. We're gonna put a round one by one with a hole in it. You can see, you can see right through that into the bottom of the jumper. 
and that's going to allow us to insert that right onto the bar and lock tightly and then be act as a nice little stand with a little stud for the parrot and then the parrot guys i played around with a couple different things you could definitely use the classic lego parrot um it would certainly work in this case here although it'd be a lot smaller than the dog and that might not make sense this i think is slightly better scaled um but we ended up just i randomly saw this piece and i was like that kind of looks like the body of a bird and it actually been inspired by a friend of mine who works for lego and has done some really cool bird designs I actually using the plume with like minifigure hands and I was like, huh, maybe I could do something similar. And then I saw this piece and I was like, oh, this would work. So this is one of the new like corner tiles. So we put the yellow clip on the bottom. Those are kind of going to act as, as his feet. We do a blue one at the back, um, which is helping to build out his tail. And then we put a green minifigure hand in there. And again, you can play with the colors for this for sure. So we've got that looking like that building out the back there and then i just grabbed a tan minifig hand and boom all of a sudden because of the colors there i really really think it does look like a pair a very simplistic one but kind of a fun way to do something a little bit different and we can just put that right on there or of course you can attach it to the stud on the corgi to have it on his back and that folks is your corgi pirate looking super duper awesome with his little parrot buddy hanging out on a little stand there um so i hope you guys enjoyed watching again guys if you ever want to get in on the action yourself make sure you tune in every single week on twitch we're live sunday through wednesday so it's always always fun building amazing stuff with you guys and just thanks for watching and have a good one ciao